You'd never know it by looking at him, but Roger Underwood is one disruptive guy. Make that responsibly disruptive. Roger gets a kick out of seeing responsibly disruptive technologies improving agriculture. And this Iowa native who grew up in Atlantic has been a leader in developing innovative approaches to ag production for more than 40 years. Well, Roger's the perfect Horatio Alger story uh, from the very uh, modest upbringings at 1315 Poplar Street in Atlantic, Iowa, to, uh, to a man being honored tonight, whether you're talking about his business accomplishments or his creativity or his vision, regardless of the endeavor, uh, Roger's the tide that raises the boats of all Iowans. Roger Underwood is a lifelong entrepreneur, investor, and philanthropist. Born in Spencer, Iowa in 1958, he gained his first experience in the ag field by working on a local farm through high school and at a local fertilizer dealership. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in agricultural business from Iowa State in 1980. After graduation, Roger took a job in marketing for Midland Co-op in Minneapolis. He then moved to Fairmont, Minnesota, where he was sales manager at Rosin Ag Chemicals. But Roger wanted to get back to Iowa, and he was itching, as he says, to start his own business. And when the idea hits, you've got to be ready. He's always over-prepared. He knows the answers to all the questions, and he really expects you, if you're a partner uh, in a venture or a partner in a project to be equally prepared. So that's his expectation, that everybody uh, that is working with him on the team comes to the table equally prepared. Although I have to say, Roger is always the one most prepared at the table. That's when Roger and high school classmate Jeff Becker, with just $7,000 between them, co-founded Becker Underwood in Ames that developed a specialty colorant to mark herbicide application, resulting in more efficient farming practices. Roger sold the product from his 1979 Dodge Colt from farm to farm and dealer to dealer. Company sales the first year, about $45,000. Like all great partnerships, uh, the story with Jeff and Roger start in preschool. They've been friends since they were in preschool and maintained that friendship throughout and it's a perfect uh, marriage of uh, the, the consummate Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Jeff is the uh, Sundance, he's the doer, he gets the job done, he's the gunslinger. Roger is the visionary, he's the guy that thinks about the ideas and, uh, and uh, goes and tells a story throughout the world. The company grew steadily and began to develop new products with a customer-focused mission. The customer had to be the winner, Roger says. The customer is always right. The company diversified into new global ag markets through organic growth and targeted acquisitions, expanding into seed colorants, seed coatings, yield enhancing inoculants, and multiple biological crop protection products. And those are some pretty impressive innovations for a guy who admittedly took three times to pass out of freshman chemistry at ISU. Becker Underwood also developed colored mulch, which became popular all over the country. In 2000, the company joined with private equity to accelerate their growth, and by 2012, sales had grown to $265 million. That same year, Becker Underwood sold to BASF Chemical Company of Germany for slightly over $1 billion. And to show his appreciation to his longtime dedicated employees, he gave them each a year's salary as a loyalty bonus. As Roger has always believed, hire really good people and pay them well. After um, Jeff and Roger had contemplated and were in the process of uh, selling the business for kind of for the final time, uh, I remember having a pretty significant conversation with uh, Roger talking about just how tired he was. I mean, here's a guy that's been traveling around the world for most of his adult life and he was just tired and he was looking forward to the idea of uh, just being at home, of having a cup of coffee with a friend, to going and visiting a relative, those kinds of things. And if I could say anything about the transition from after they uh, sold the business to BASF, it's uh, one of the few things that Roger has failed miserably at is retirement. 
Roger is currently an investor, technical advisor, and chair of Pivot Bio, a Berkeley, California ag biotech company and a board member of Kent Corporation of Muscatine. Roger was uh, my first outside director at our corporation. Roger was able to immediately strike the right tone with the board. His vision, support, and tactfully frank manner uh, was very, has been very helpful to me. I liken him to having a sheepdog, just constantly keeping everyone in the group focused. So he's been a, a valuable uh, board member for our company. He's a founding limited partner in the Rural American Fund in Chicago, among many other business endeavors. Regarding his alma mater, Roger enjoys raising money for Iowa State University, where he's a lifetime member of the ISU Foundation Board of Governors and where he chaired the Campaign Iowa State, which raised $867 million for the university. Roger loves Iowa State University, uh, and so he wants to make sure that the university is successful and that it's moving forward in a strong way. Um, and so, so he's always at the table. He's received honors including the Young Alumnus Award, the College of Ag and Life Sciences Floyd Andre Award for outstanding contributions to agriculture, and the Cardinal and Gold Award. Today, Roger makes regular presentations to college classes about entrepreneurship and the importance of business owners caring for stakeholders, employees, customers, and the community when making business decisions. Well, Roger's greatest gift to Iowa is really his desire to mentor the future entrepreneurs and the future leaders of Iowa, whether it's through raising 800 million for Iowa State, or he and his wife Connie endowing the entrepreneur program at Iowa State, or speaking to, uh, to young people in entrepreneurial classes. Roger is always trying to give back and, and pay it forward. Roger believes in education and knows that it provides you the tools, but that you have to take those tools and use them uh, to make the life and career that you want as an individual. Roger and his wife Connie even provided a $1.5 million cash gift to establish the entrepreneurship program for students at Iowa State's College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Roger has served on numerous Ames area civic and community organizations. Statewide, Roger quietly, and in many cases anonymously, works to make life better for all Iowans. He has uh, big ideas, a big vision, but oftentimes he's in the background. Uh, you may not always see it if you're not uh, the one having conversations with him. He doesn't always want to be the person out front. Uh, it's that quiet guidance in the background that Roger oftentimes likes to provide. Roger and his wife Connie, a graduate of Iowa State, have been married for 38 years and live in Ames. They have two sons, Andrew and girlfriend Dr. Nina Whitney, and William and wife Chloe Underwood. All are Iowa Staters. I think that Roger's family is the most important thing to him. It's more important than any business success that he's had in his life. Uh, and you can see it, you can see it in the actions that he takes and how he cares for them. Roger, you've been responsibly disrupting things in the agricultural field for a long time. And in the process, you've developed the kind of innovations that have helped not only your customers, but the planet as well. Your entrepreneurial spirit and willingness to share that knowledge and experience with younger generations has made your home state of Iowa a better place to live for all of us. I consider uh, my friendship with Roger Underwood uh, to be one of the most valuable things I have in my life. I'm proud to have Roger Underwood join me in the Iowa Business Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Roger Underwood, 2023 inductee into the Iowa Business Hall of Fame.